hello everyone welcome back to my unreal engine tutorial series so today i'm going to show you this so when i shoot a fire explosive barrel with the normal arrow it will not explode and if i shoot them with the fire arrow it will explode like this so yeah again This time I'll show you what happens when I shoot it with a with an a magic a poison arrow. So this will also not make this one explode, as you can see. So it will be exploded only if I shoot it with the fire arrow. All right, and as always, this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons. Thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me. Alright, so I need these barrels to blow only if I shoot them with a fire arrow. Alright, so yeah, let's open one of these blueprint of explosive barrels and i am blowing them up in this uh, on arrow hit so here i am take i am already taking a reference to the arrow object that is hitting this barrel i have defined it here like this but the arrow is uh, in type of actor so i don't have a way to um, identify whether it is a fire arrow or a poison arrow or just a normal arrow so let's open the arrow blueprint and see how can we get it right so here I'm def I have defined this arrow type index right so I need some kind of a way to communicate whether it is a fire arrow or a poison arrow or a normal arrow so yeah let's define a, an enumeration what should I call this fire type or poison type no oh, that's not let's call it a magic type that's not the best that's the only name I can come up with okay so here the magic type would be first one would be none that means no magic and the second one would be fire third one would be poison right so let's add a variable here magic type it should be in the type of magic type like this and using this arrow type number index I can select the magic type like this let's get some room here first and set magic type yeah we can set the magic type like this set magic type 
and let's select this based on this arrow type index option 0 is obviously none and option 2 is fire and option 3 is poison and now I can get rid of this particle effect as well like this select um, for this one I can put magic type so like here for the fire fire which one I have used here fire one and fire green right this is none and this is fire one and this is fire green and we can use this one here so I don't need this part anymore or neither this one so instead of the max type for the max type I'm gonna put a constant value 2 because it, it can be either 0 1 or 2 right let's see if that works I mean just uh, okay I just want to check if this uh, type switching still works right fortunately it works and yeah when I put up when I keep rotating up my mouse wheel it is not going down all right so maybe the issue is this I need to so that I can rotate through values divide this by 2 3 so in this way even if I keep my mouse wheel rotating upward I can cycle through the arrow types like this and for zero it's not working right that's enough for now okay right so now I have defined the magic type and then I want to add instead of this arrow let's add what mm, 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 yeah I think I still need to keep the arrow object so therefore let's define another interface like this blueprints blueprint interface I'm gonna call it BPI magic magical object so here I'm gonna define a new function get magic type and the output should be magic type I'll name this one also type like this and the report value is none and I'm going to implement that uh, magical object interface in the arrow like this and compile and here now I get the get magic type interface function so let's return this one simple now in this explosive sorry in this uh, explosive object 
I can do this. Let's uh, let's collapse this one into another node. On arrow, hit. Right now, uh, before calling explode, let's do this. Get magic type. Let's call that on the arrow object and let's do a switch on magic type. So if this is none, nothing should happen. If this is poison, also, nothing should happen if it is fire, it should explode. All right, let's see if that works. Okay, so I'm going to fire the barrel first with the normal arrow. As we just saw, nothing happened. So let's this time try with the poison arrow, nothing should happen. Yeah, nothing happened. And let's uh, fire it with a poison arrow. Right, it's, it exploded as expected. Okay. And one more thing. So here, if I shoot this one, this arrow, like this, you can see uh wait can i see that that uh arrow is not being destroyed so therefore you will still see the particle effect but i need to take care of that later right so for today that's all and not just this i'm going to implement what happens to the characters when i shoot a fire arrow they should burn up and when I put shoot a poison arrow they should like go crazy or something attack each other or something like that all right and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of my patreon club right here link would be in the description below and thank you for watching also, I'll upload the source code when I have polished it and ready to release release uh, a source code version update. And yeah, see you in the next episode. Goodbye.